Good morning to our Digital Church family. It's so good to be here with you again uh, this morning. We hope you're doing well uh, and that you've enjoyed some of the lovely sun over this bank holiday weekend. It seems to be disappearing today, uh, so I hope that you made the most of it. Before we get on with our interview this morning, uh, just a reminder that if you would like to join us for Zoom Fellowship after uh, this meeting at 11.20, uh, whether you're watching in time or late, then you can get yourself onto the core group page, uh, find the new meeting ID and password, uh, and we'll be there along with some of our friends and family uh, at 11.20 to chat and catch up, which will be great to see you there if you'd, if you'd like to join us. Uh, so this morning, we have another interview planned uh, and we are going live to the home of Grace Odin. So is Grace there somewhere? Hello, Grace. Morning, Grace. Morning. Morning, you okay? Yes, thank you, are you? Yeah, yeah good, it's okay. great to see you. We're gonna kick off with uh, the first question for you, okay? You too. So obviously, okay. um, Grace, you um, were in year 11 when obviously all of this kind of lockdown happened. So our first question is, what was your reaction to being told you couldn't sit your GCSEs and how are you feeling about that now? Um, well, at first I didn't like, quite a wee bit because I thought you know oh this will all blow over you know it'll be a few weeks and then I will be back to school and we'll be sitting at GCSEs um but then when you come to the realization of it it's quite shocking because it's like oh I've been in high school for five years you know working up to my GCSEs and now I can't do them it was a bit mm. it was a bit sad really um but now like I've just gotten used to the idea and just realized it is what it is and um, I'm still sad that I, will, I might not have a problem, probably what happened. Mm. Um, and year 11 was cut, cut really short, unfortunately, and we had to have our leavers day really early. But I'm just grateful for what I had in year 11 and what I got to experience. Mm, that's a great attitude. You'll have to um, still dress up in your prom dress so everyone gets to see you looking all dressed up and beautiful. <laughs> Uh, I should have said at the beginning, I'm sure there are loads of people in our church family who'd like to send a message or a question to you. So if, you, if people are watching live, um, what is it now, coming up 10, 20 past 10, and you'd like to just ask or say something to Grace, feel free to drop it in the comments, that would be good. Um, Grace, now you're at home all day, uh, what's it like being at home uh, on your own a lot of the time? And also, what's it like having a mum who's a key worker? Um, it is quite lonely because obviously mm. my mum's having to work a, a lot more and to look after more people, um, especially being an only child, you know, I don't yeah. have anyone to annoy, I don't have anyone to play with, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but um, it just makes me like more grateful for my mum and like when she is off work, like that time I can spend with her. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it is pretty rubbish, but you know, what can you do? Making the most of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it must be really difficult. Yeah, I love the fact that um, in your head, if you had a sibling, the only thing that you would do would be to annoy them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, so obviously you've mentioned um, that, that it is lonely. And I think, you know, a lot of teenagers at the moment are experiencing that kind of loneliness at a time where um, your social kind of, your social lives are so important in your teenage years. How have you managed to stay connected with your friends socially? Um, social media has been a big help like I message my friends a lot more often because normally you'd see them every day like at school and at lunchtime and break so you would not really have to message throughout the day except after school mm -hmm. but yeah I'm facetiming friends a lot more facetiming Harry a lot more yeah. um, hi Harry if yeah, you're watching um, by the way <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah we're checking up on each other a lot more and I'm involved in a lot more group chats, which is nice. Mm. But um, yeah, just social media has been a big help in calling and messaging them like constantly. Yeah, mm. I don't know if you can see, you're getting a lot of love in the comments. <laughs> Grace, you are so lovely. Love you, Grace. And uh, the Martins are saying how much they miss you and Auntie Catherine as well. So there you go, getting a lot of love. Um, Aww. Aww. Um, Question we've asked people for the last couple of weeks, have there been any pieces of scripture or songs um, that have been important to you or kept you going while you've been stuck at home all this time? Yes, so a piece of scripture 
I've got is from Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 and it says so do not fear for I am with you do not be dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you and help you I will uphold you with my righteous right hand and I think that's really special in this time that God is always with us and that we shouldn't worry as much and that we should give our fears and worries to him because he knows what he's doing and Mm. you know we shouldn't we shouldn't be as worried as we are amazing yeah um becky has got a question for you which is grace have you learned a few more dishes to add to your cooking repertoire yeah how's the cooking going um it's good i mean um i've learned how to uh, make lasagna thanks to Mac Elliot. Um, I've gotten better at cooking rice because rice is really hard to cook. Like normally when I make it, it looks like porridge. And rice is hard to cook, nice and I have to ask my mum to make it <laughs> if she's home. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been like cooking like breakfast a lot more because normally I just like have it at school or like buy a pack lunch at Tesco's in the morning and get a meal deal. But um, yeah, cooking, it's it's fun. It it just stresses me out. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so we've got a way to go with the cooking. (laughs) Oh, it's so good to hear hear from you. So um, the last question really, what what would you like our church family to pray for, for you or for any of your friends or anything into the situation? What would you ask for prayer for? Um, well, I messaged a few of my friends and they said um, musical sections across the country who aren't able to practice because that will definitely affect them. Mm. Um, the NHS, key workers, the elderly and people living by themselves because I, I bet that's really lonely not having anybody to talk to. Um, families who are affected by the virus mm. and then... Um, Samara would like people to pray for her granddad who passed away recently and for her friend um mm-hmm. Caitlin who does have the virus um she's really really worried about her but mm. yeah um just lots of prayers for people yeah yeah I mean it's amazing that you've been in touch with your friends to ask about that as well and um a really great you know we know that you will be an incredible friend to them in this time and uh and it's so good to hear from you. And we will also be praying for you, Grace. You know, it, it, we don't underestimate that it is lonely. Mm. Um, I noticed that Davina said in the in the comments somewhere um, to keep on annoying Harry because he loves it. So um, <laughs> you know, just I to will. say as well, kind of having a having a, a boyfriend in lockdown um, is a bit must be a little bit tricky at the moment. Yeah, it is rubbish because you like can't see them as much and you FaceTime in a lot more mm-hmm. and he gets a lot and like a, a lot more annoying because you know <laughs> you, you're missing each other but it's also like yeah yeah but you know I expected that but yeah, yeah. it is hard but you just gotta stay strong stay Absolutely. strong and it'll be worth the yeah. reunion that you get in the end yeah uh, and as well, yeah. whether you spotted in the comments, Grace, there's a lot of love coming to you, but please pass it on to your mum as well. People will be uh, thinking about her and praying about her because we know how hard she'll be working uh, at the minute. So please pass that on from all of us, if you would. I yeah, will. I will. You're such a special part of our church, Grace. And I think the comments reflect that, um, that we love you very much and that we will be praying for you. Um, and Thank now you. we're going to sort of move on to the next bit of our um, service. We've all been doing a lot of sitting down, but now the singing company are going to stand for Christ. Um, so let's listen to the singing company sing. Bye, Grace. Bye.